people talk about different reasons why Atchison is so haunted. So the number one reason is our vicinity to the Missouri River and how limestone built all of our major buildings in town and most of the historic homes, all the basements are gonna be limestone like this basement is. And limestone's porous and can hold spirits, so it allows them to move about um, a little bit more freely. So a lot of people talk about how this basement is kind of a portal where spirits can move in and out. And so a lot of people think that Sally actually isn't a little girl, that it's something maybe a little bit more menacing that pretends to be a little girl because it's relatable and um, can attract them in but really has this menacing quality. I always thought the last woman um, that lived here was the last person, but there was a college student that lived here for a couple months. The owner said the house terrified him, he moved out. Um, but before that, there was a woman um, when the owner came one day, he noticed that there were symbols drawn all over doorways throughout the house and windows, as well as this pentagram. A lot of people want to argue and say it was a pentacle, that it was actually a good witch, but we don't really know. Um, regardless, she was um, kind of creating a lot of damage to the house, and so she was asked to move out. And then, again, no one's been here since 2004. A lot of people talk about the basement being some sort of portal. You're welcome to, you probably need a flashlight to look in the hole. Um, uh, go in there too if you really want to, but um, yeah, as you can see. So there's a lot of different theories about the hole. Some people say that there's t tunnels that connected this house and the house next door. We don't have any evidence of that. We do know Charles Finney was um, arrested for bootlegging at one point. He was mayor very shortly in town, was no longer mayor, so people say, well, maybe there was a cellar and he dug into the cellar and that's where he kind of kept all the alcohol that he was running. It does look like at some point there was a cellar, and when you look at the foundation below the deck, the old foundation, it would it makes sense that there was a cellar, and at some point they built it into the house for whatever reason. So. And then people talk about a strong masculine presence in the house, almost that it's downstairs, checking to see who's here before it goes back upstairs. We get footsteps on the stairs and in the little hallway. Kind of the last straw for the Pickmans when they were living here is he felt somebody push him over this railing here. And then this room is the nursery. And we call it the nursery because when the Pickmans lived here, this was their uh, young son's room at the time who was a baby. Tony would talk about fires randomly breaking out in the corner here, toys turning off and on on their own. And so people bring different toys into the house and try to encourage play. For me, this room is the most active. Um, I've had a lot of experiences with groups in here. I remember one time this woman started breaking down because she had recently lost a baby and she had heard crying clear as day. I've seen grown men cry in here. Um, a couple people have claimed to fall into kind of a trance where you can't kind of snap them out of it. Um, but again, it just seems very individual and personal, never an entire group normally. All different kinds. That was me. Okay. <laughs> and what makes it say a word? So what it can do is it can manipulate, um, so they just have letters that go up and it can manipulate and create words. Okay. It's talking a lot. I mean, I'll take this places uh -huh. and it won't do anything. Okay. You'll just sit there with it okay. 20, 30 minutes and nothing will happen. Right. Same with that. I'll ask some. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very accurate ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have any interest in Rachel or messages for Rachel? Anything to say? More red it means it's it's close. Are these your toys that you like to play with? Tent. Tent. Your tent? Mm -hmm. We can try to take that into the front room and this maybe and maybe leave the room pod. Okay. Let's do something. It's in all the zeros. That's you. <laughs> Doesn't feel too bad right now. 
in here. That robot's still going crazy, though. Anything in here I'd like to communicate? Doesn't seem too bad in here right now. Yeah, this is flatlined. Christmas. Christmas? when my brother's baby's supposed to be born. That's crazy. Yeah, it's when my brother died. Well, Christmas has some meaning to both of yeah. them, so. <clears throat> this is, I still just flat. moved it. The room pot's still going crazy. Yeah, oh, this is pumped up too. You can, so hold your hands real steady. Right. Yeah. Move. And then I normally say, ask a question and cross if it's a yes or uncross. Okay. If it's a no or the other way around. So let's cross if it's a yes. Is someone trying to communicate about my brother? Start. Whoa, start. That's a big time yes. My brother took his own life First in day. a park. First day. You just talked about. With what? What'd you say? My brother took his own life on Christmas in a park. Freezer. Well, it's going crazy when you're talking about that. Yeah. Everything just went off. It's freezer leaning? He did it in the middle of winter and he was covered sports. in snow. Sports. Do you like sports? Look yeah. how crazy that's. That's like a guessing. Like, cra oh, I got chills. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's Is there someone here connected to me? Is there something you want to tell me? It's getting faster. Here, itchy R E. Is it Keith? question, mm -hmm. yes or no, that Keith would know the answer to. Okay. Um, Shadow. Shadow. Shadow is his dog. <laughs> Can you tell me something else that only you would know? Something between the two of us? Do you know that I visit you? I think the scariest part is waiting for all the lights to go out and knowing I'm going to be sitting in a empty haunted house basement for an indeterminate or for a while. I don't know how much time. I guess I've been pretty uh, bold in saying that I'm not afraid. So this is my test. They put me in the basement of the Sally House by myself with this big open hole that they call a portal behind me and it's completely dark I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's probably got night vision on me but it is completely dark down here I can just make out the shadows of what the room looks like because of the little light on the camera but there's no other light I did hear some weird stuff <laughs> um, the weirdest one was right behind the furnace, which I couldn't see behind, which probably made it even weirder. Andrew jokes that I'm the skeptic, but I'm not. I might be more of a believer than, or as much as a believer in this stuff as anybody else. I just, whoa. <laughs> that freaked me out. I hope that wasn't somebody messing with me. And then I just did what 
I tell my kids to do when they are afraid. And I started singing a hymn, <laughs> which probably was even scarier than it needed to be. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Honestly, the room upstairs does freak me out more, even more than the basement. The basement's got the ambience of being a creepy <laughs> Sally House basement, but upstairs is just, there's something weird about it, more even than down there. Sitting in the nursery next to the toy that went off by itself earlier, so that's cool. Just the closet, or am I getting that mixed up with the Yeah, master? I mean, I'll come in here and I'll get a happy feeling sometimes, and I'm like, did they just turn that off, off or, or did it go off on its own? Did you guys do that? Did you guys turn that on? There's no one in the room. Shut up. The doll just went off in the other room. You guys, did you set off that toy? That toy just went off. No one was in there. Did you hear him? We were in here. But you heard him, right? This. That was the, you guys that heard it. Get up, get on your feet. You have to tap him. You have, see how much effort you have to do to turn him on? Wow. And it said, tap, tap, move your feet. Right? Yeah. And no one was in the room. It requires motion. No one was even walking in here. Pretty creepy up here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I feel like I hear something on the stairs. Starting to really not feel good. I feel like lightheaded, like Ryan was saying. Okay, this is gonna be kidding me. <laughs> Did you guys walk up the stairs? Hundred percent now. No. no. Jim was in the basement, and the three of us were sitting in the Yeah, like, Jim, not too long after you left, it's so weird because we were just listening to this podcast on the way down here, like a horror podcast of, like, this creature that was walking up. It was like you could hear them walking up the stairs and stopping, and that's exactly what I heard. Um, it was crazy. When you said, is there someone coming up the stairs, I thought it was probably Jim. I've been seeing shadows like that all night. Here I am. And it is, I'm nervous. And I'm just kind of thinking. shadows. Okay. Okay, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Hey guys. Guys. Something moves in the window. What? Something moves in the window. Go look, come on. Someone. Right 
right there. Something was there, and it wasn't that. I don't know what it was. And I cannot stop sweating. I said like shadows or like the number one or stuff like that. Like, was it out of the corner of your eye or you saw it straight on? I was looking dead at it. Right at it? How dead at it. Okay, uh, I got the like thing. Maybe. Yay. Oh, wow. Not small. Not a bug. Not a spider. All right. I could, okay, okay, I'm gonna step it out. I'm gonna step out just for a moment. Just for, yep, but also for all time. Inside the closet where Maria, <clears throat> pardon me, said that she, did you know she didn't walk in? Yeah, she wouldn't come she in. She never came in. Come in. And, uh, this is my least favorite part of the house. I do not like the closet. Um, I think whatever comes into the house that's a little bit more menacing, I think it comes through there. I don't think it comes through the basement. So, and here I just, my heart starts to beat really fast. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, like kind of right now. <laughs> Okay, so Ryan was in the basement, and you heard things moving around for I, definite. I heard like a couple of bangs. I never heard movement. It was just boom, boom, a couple different times. It sounded different the two or three times it happened. <clears throat> I assumed it was you guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you said it wasn't, <laughs> so that was. It's actually scarier in hindsight than it was when it was happening. Now that I know that. And then when Rach was in the nursery, I was sitting on the chair listening with headphones. You two were sitting on the couch mm -hmm. talking yeah. whispery, and I heard her say, someone's coming up the stairs, and I assumed that it was Jim, and then Jim came walking up from the basement. Yeah. So what did you hear, Rach? I, I, yeah, I heard someone creaking up the stairs, and it was almost so blatant to the point where I was like, it's got, it, it's one of the guys like coming to mess with me. And then I heard it again, like a minute later, softer. But uh, yeah, I was really kind of like Ryan. I was kind of hoping you guys would be like, yeah, we were gonna come spook you. But no, that's not what happened. And that freaks me out. And I also heard talking and whispering and I, you know, just assumed it was you guys, but Dave said you guys were being super quiet. And then Andrew, you actually saw something. So I was in the nursery <clears throat> and I already, not super comfortable, you know, being up there just because I'm kind of a scaredy kid. And uh, so, so I'm actually a little freaked out being in here because it would be moving across that window now because it was coming from uh, uh, right, right to left. But it was a shadow about um, this or so big ish. A basketball or volleyball? It's smaller than that, uh, more like a little, little larger than a baseball. Did it look like a sphere or did it look flat? It was, I would call it a sphere. Um, I didn't, I mean, it, it didn't move very slowly, uh, but it was, it wasn't solid. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So. Did you get a feeling from it? Uh, I don't even know, man. As soon as I saw it, I, I started, I mean, you, you heard it. <laughs> as soon as you heard it, I started screaming and, and was like, nope, 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 I have to leave. And, uh. Is anybody else uh, sweating really hard in here? Yeah. Because I, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't stopped sweating since we came in this house. I feel like I'm just drenched in it. So general thoughts about the house? Uh, I mean, certainly seems like there's something going on in here. Um, I, what weirds me out is that we don't know what it is. Like, that's always the thing for me is, you know, what is this? If, we can, if I can identify it, then I can know how to deal with it. and. You know, when we were using those apps and stuff, like none of the questions when we would ask, like, what is this? What are you? Like, it, there was just none of that and it wasn't having it. And so that's just what, I wouldn't say it freaks me out. It just, I just don't like that, not knowing what you're dealing with. Um, yeah, it's like as soon as you walk in, it's just, it's a famously haunted house, so it feels weird, but 
I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't feel that heavy feeling if there wasn't something to it. And then with especially the words that were being said with the EVP stuff, especially Forget. when it, what did it say? Forget. Forget. Especially when it came to Dave and his brother, that was so emotional and strange. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of undeniable that, like Ryan said, something's going on. I just don't know exactly what it is. I haven't felt a connection to the house in the way that Maria described it to us as far as, like, I haven't seen a little girl or anything like that. It's been mostly just, like, feelings and sounds and... Well, both you and I, <clears throat> in that same room, both of us felt lightheaded. Yeah, I would love it if Dave sat in there. Bet you would. But, it, it's <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's like, I think all the activity earlier today was centered around you. Mm -hmm. But I understand if you don't want to. Smoke! Yeah, you're smoking something. I could, <laughs> I could use one. <laughs> this house is tight, and it is oppressive. And it knew things about your brother. It knew things about my grandmother. And I just, I feel like I, I feel like it's like closing in. For any amount of money, could you stay here by yourself all night? I could not. I could not. I absolutely would not. I, not. No. No, I couldn't. It's any amount. No. No amount. Nope. I'd rather be poor. Thank you.